waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. Hello, I'm Linda from Baladi's Body Blitz. Minnie's outside at the moment, but she may come in a little bit later, depending on how she feels. She likes to lounge around in the heat outside when it's a nice weather. So we'll see, we'll see. But we are doing zone two cardio band today. All you will need is a mat, a band, I'm using a medium resistance Pilates band, and you need a chair to hold onto for some of the exercises. Zone two cardio is basically getting your heart rate up to the point where you can still talk, but it just gets you a little bit breathy, gets that blood circulating, and it's perfect fat burning mode. Now, it doesn't have to be just cardio, as in what you think of when you think cardio, like walking or aerobics, things like that. You can also do cardio sculpting. And that, as long as it keeps you in that same heart rate, it doesn't go anaerobic, is considered to be zone two cardio as well. So many of my workouts are actually zone two cardio. Some of them get a little bit high on the heart rate, but this one today, we're gonna keep at that perfect level. So get your band and let's get into the center of our space. All we're gonna do is keep our band about arms distance apart, and we're going to start going up and up down in the center and pointing our toe. You don't have to go too low to begin with. I just want you to start heating everything up. Nice deep breaths throughout. We're not doing anything complicated today. We're just gonna keep it nice and easy so we can focus on getting our heart pumping just that little bit. Start to rotate through the waist. The band is really great to hold on to with some extra resistance. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. And we're just gonna float that leg up. So same thing, float it up, down and up and up. Deep breaths here. Let's go for six. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lean over and over. So I want you to come more directly to the side and you're going to bring your elbow down, leaning to the side, tapping that opposite toe. It's like a little figure eight motion. You're circling slightly through the upper body. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come into the center and we're just gonna rotate up, lean to the side and then the other way. And lean the other way. I like to keep my legs quite straight. It gives you a nice stretch for the hamstrings, but up to you, you can put a micro bend in there. All the way around and up. All the way around and up. This should feel really good, one more each way. And up, and the other way. Now start to bring your knees up, side to side, blowing out, and it's a tiny crunch. Maybe you start pulling on that band a little bit more. You don't have to go low, just side to side, side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Come into the center. We're gonna dip down and do a big circle as we bring our heels in front. Once again, a nice stretch for that hamstring. Hinging forward with a flat back. So don't round here. Around and up, around and up. Shoulders away from the ears. Let's go for six, five, Four, three, two, and one. And we're going to bring our heel up to our butt and just pull out diagonal. Get your heel up there. You don't have to sink low in the center. You don't want to have too much tension on your band. Otherwise your heart rate is gonna to elevate too much. So just keep it at moderate tension. And anytime you need to slow it down, slow it down. Six and four, three, two, 
and last. One nice job. We're going to bring our arms overhead and we're going to bring them down behind as we lift our knee. Maybe sink a little bit into your standing leg behind and really row downwards, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Little plie into your supporting leg as you pick up that knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come into a wide plie position. Just bounce here a little bit, arms are in front again. We're gonna go side center, side center, side center, side center. You don't have to go low in that squat. Just at that point where you feel a bit of your heart rate coming up. Weight is in the heels, side center. Two more slow like this, then we're gonna speed it up. Last pass and center. Now take out the center and plie and behind. Really pull behind with your back arm. Rotate through the waist, but keep your hips nice and stable. A few more like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to come into a side lunge, overhead side lunge. So circle around lunge, circle around lunge. So your opposite leg stays nice and straight, stretching through the inner thigh. And one way you can test that you are still in zone two cardio is you should be able to talk without huffing and puffing too much. If it's starting to get too breathy for you, just slow down or go a lot more shallow. Two more like this. One more each side. Now we're gonna come back to this side and we're gonna come up and down. Pull a little bit on that band. Leaning slightly at the top, rotating at the bottom. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Now come up. And we're just going to do tiny arcs, leans, picking up that leg, maybe drop into the supporting leg a little bit more, weight is in the heel. Now can you keep it up and don't touch down? A lot more difficult for the balance. Four, if you need to just tap down, three, two and one. Come side to side, push one arm up, one arm down. Sliding across, side to side. Breathe. Deep breaths here. We're going to go to the other side with that side lunge. In four, three, two, one. So we're going to go side lunge and then tiny up. Row behind and lean directly to the side. Up. Point your toe, lengthen behind the knee, make it look pretty as you lift that leg. Side and up. Three, two, pull on that band. One, now stay here and it's a tiny up. Bend into your supporting leg, lean and down. Maybe you're pulling a bit with the bottom arm. Tummies are in, pick a focal point, and if you can, just stay up for a few. Up for a few without tapping down. I know it's hard. Come on, just breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders, step touch, around and all the way around and down around and down around and down for four and three and two and last one 
Now tap and tap in front and row your arms behind. You're pulling on that band. Up and down, up and down. I've seen this before in many of my workouts. So just really get into it, allow your body to lean. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go across for two, back for two, and then four, three, two, one. Across for two, back for two, four, three, two, one. Keep going, chest press arms, and then inside leg, three, two, one. Last time this direction. And four, three, two, one. Come across, across, across. One more to this side. Last time. Now sweep it. Three, two, and one. Now across for two. Back for two. Sweep it. Three, two, one. You're always stepping in front with the inside leg. So this is the inside leg. Three, one. Across for two. Back for two. Sweep. And the last time, back for two and sweep. Two and one. Nice job. Now we're going to sweep figure eight. Just pick up those legs, straight legs here. Straight legs. We're going to put the band behind our back in a second. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So put the band behind your back and grab onto the ends. We're gonna push in front and step behind. Step behind and push in front. Now, if you don't wanna do fast pushes, just go singles and in. Singles and in. Okay, otherwise we're gonna push double time. Little pushes, doesn't have to be all the way extended. Step, step behind. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go across and across. Across and across. Point your toe out to the side. Really squeeze your chest as your arms cross. We're going to speed this up double time in four. Three, two, one, across and across. Long legs, point the toe. All the way across. My arms have got a little micro bend. Really squeezing your chest. Shoulders are down and back. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Stay in a nice wide plie position and we're going to start punching. So maybe you need to choke up a little bit. Tiny little punches across and across. You don't have to be low in your legs. Tummies are in. Really start punching across the body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now uppercuts. So from the bottom up. They're really short and small because of the pace of the music. Breathe. Twist through the waist. It's like you're bopping someone under the chin. Keep going. Lift those heels. Twist the hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do hooks. Hooks. So up and across. Imagine that you're hitting something and stop it. Stop it. Keep going. Keep punching. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one up, punch up and up and up, down and up. Maybe sit down a little bit more into that squat. 
up. If it's too fast and it's starting to get your heart rate up too much, lose the band and do it without. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go up and down, up and down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, up and down. Simple, simple. Nice wide squats. Come on, peel those arms. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And punch down. Hinge forward from the hips. Lift your heels. Punch and punch. Breathe through it. Come on, nearly done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna grab our chair next. I want you to make a loop, if you haven't already got a loop in the end of your band, enough to put your foot through. And then we're gonna put that foot through. Keep your chair in front of you. And we're going to hold on with that hand. Make sure there's tension on the back. And all we're gonna do is push in and push, in and push. You might have to adjust your band. Get it to the point where there's a good push on the back. Push, push. And if you're finding this is too much with the band, just take it off. We're gonna keep it really simple here. Just push behind, squeeze the glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, now bring the opposite arm in and go a little bit faster. In and out, in and out. You can push a little bit lower with that foot. Come on. Push and push, your supporting leg is gonna feel this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. We're gonna open out to the side. So bend your leg, open out, out, out. Like a hydrant, but with a slightly more extended leg. Side lateral raise, bend arm side lateral. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and we're switching to the other foot we're not going too long on each side otherwise the heart rate gets too high as we get fatigued so start with your hand on here in and extend and up in extend and up should be getting a bit of a sweat going now i definitely am extend and up come on in extend and up really squeeze your glute on the up Nice bend in your supporting leg. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna start pulling and pulling. Pull and pull. Six, five, four, three, two, Last one. Now I realize we didn't probably use the band on the other side, so we're gonna anchor it again and it's out to the side. Side lateral, slightly bent leg, and you're just coming out to the side, like an extended leg hydrant and a side lateral arms. If you wanted to make it harder, you could definitely hold onto the band and pull out on it on the side. You can definitely make this your workout. Feeling it on the supporting leg. Out and out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna change sides again. Put your chair over to the side. We're going to lean our entire elbow onto there. 
Make sure you're choked up on the band. And we're going to do big circles. Big circles. Now you can keep them lower if this is too challenging. Around and around. And you don't have to pull on that band too much. If you're finding the band too much, in fact, you can just let go of it altogether. Circle around to the back. Nice supporting leg bent. And we're going to keep our chest slightly open to the front. Two and one. And guess what? We're going to go the other way around and to the front. Around and to the front. And if you prefer to hold with this other hand, the band with the other hand, you can do that. It really depends on where you feel the most comfortable. But you just want to keep that heart rate high. You don't want to let it drop. For four. And three. And two. And one. Now straighten up a little bit. We're going to kick and kick. Kick to the front, kick to the back. Point the toe. Kick and kick. And kick. Kick and kick. A little bit faster because it's a lot easier than those circles. Kick and kick. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to the side, hold on to that. Choke up on it a bit. We're coming up to the front, up to the side. Front, side, front, side. Nice soft stance in your supporting leg. Tall posture, side, front, side. There's quite a bit of momentum here. For three, and two, and last one. Nice job, other foot, changing sides. And we're starting with our arm down, our chest is to the front. And it doesn't matter which way you go first, you can go to the front or to the back, we're just doing big circles. And we're gonna switch it up in a few more. Try and get it high, nice bend in the supporting leg, flat back, tummy's in. Just three, two, and one. And let's go the other way, around. For some reason, this leg seems a lot harder for me. Up and around, maybe because it's not my dominant leg. Come on, a few more. Three, two, one. Now choke up a little bit, and we're gonna kick forward and back, forward and back. Forward and back, a little bit faster. Kick and kick, kick and kick. Leaning forward and back slightly with a flat back. Come on, a few more for six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to come directly in front and to the side, front and side, and side, breathe, and side, go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, you can take that band off, we're going to finish with a tiny bit of waist work, so I'm going to anchor my band on the chair, hold on to the other end, lean into it, and we're just going to bring our knee up and stretch away. Stretch it in. Stretch it in. Squeeze the oblique, that's what it's for. We're going to do some straight leg ones, but if you prefer to stick with these ones, you can. Four, three, two, one, now this time all the way down. Can you lengthen your arm and pull slightly down and back? Down and back. Down and back. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, tiny pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, other side. Switching sides often so that we don't get fatigued. We want to keep the heart rate up, but not too high. Really lean and then squeeze in your elbow to your thigh. Six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Can you keep your arms straight? Pull it down past the legs, straight legs. Keep it bent if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay up and pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's just rotate side to side. Breathing, letting the heart rate down a little bit. Finishing how we started. Now figure eight, slightly bend into that. Side to side. We're gonna do a little bit of stretch sculpt to finish. Four, three, two, one. Now come down, anchor your hand, pull up and back. And then come over to the other side, anchor your hand, pull up and back. Other side again. Really nice low lunge, anchor up and back. One more time each side, anchor up and back. Last time, anchor up and back. Okay, you don't need your band. We're going to come into an all fours position, then hover our knees. We're just gonna come forward and back. So you're stepping your leg closer and then pass the other leg in and extend. So at the back there should be a nice stretch through the shoulders, but you are getting a bit of sculpt in those thighs. Four, three, two, last one. Now step in and we're just going to bring those ankles to cross. Cross the ankles. You turn out position, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back into that hover. Other leg steps forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. If this is too much, you can just bring your knee in like this and extend. Forward and back. Four more. Three. Two, last one. Now bring the foot in front and cross the ankles. Both legs are turned out, pull it in. Getting rid of some of that lactic acid. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come into a child's pose position with your knees apart and your heels together. Grab your band, pull out on that band. We're gonna come forward into a push-up, pull out, pull out, sit back into child's pose. Again, forward into a push-up, pull out, pull out, child's pose. Forward, push-up, pull out, pull out, and back, forward, push-up, pull out, pull out, and back. That's it. Stretch time. Push your armpits down to the mat. Deep breaths in. This should feel really nice. Weave your arm underneath with your palm up and then come back and put your weight on top of that arm, stretching your shoulder. And other side, arm through and ah. Oh, stretching that shoulder. The band really gets into the shoulder. Awesome job, come down and then push up. Deep breath, come down. If you want to, you can grab your foot like this and then lift your thigh up a little bit. Otherwise you can do it lying on your side. And then other side, grab your foot, bring that heel into your glute. Lift your thigh slightly, it's gonna stretch your quad more. Awesome job, come up. Just sit in a wide straddle position. Lean forward, point and flex through your feet. And then bring one leg in and just lean forward, stretching your hamstring. 
And we're going to bring this leg across, keeping both butt cheeks on the mat and pull in. That should give you a really nice stretch through your outer glutes there. It feels so good. Okay, other leg in front. Lean forward, stretch that hamstring. And bring that leg across. Very important, both butt cheeks down. If this situation doesn't work, keep the leg here and draw it in, okay? But I really want your butt on the mat. Sit nice and tall, pull that in. Nice job. Grab your band and we're just gonna come up and behind. Can you come all the way down and reverse your wrist and then pull up? And then reverse your wrists again, come up and over, then round away. Round your spine and slightly twisting. Oh, that feels so good. And then choke up on the band. And we're going to bring one wrist in front and just pull. And other side. You can also do this, it might be a bit more effective actually than trying to fiddle around with the band. Swing your arms and across, and across, reaching, and over. Roll your shoulders and you are done. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you got your sweat on and I'll see you at the next segment really soon.